So um, my, my, my last question for you is that when I look at coffee in, in, in general, okay? Um, so I was born in China and I, and I grew up in China. We didn't have a whole lot of coffee. We had a bunch of tea, right? Yeah. And, so, and so when we, when we looked at tea, we see tea as like a spiritual cleansing. Yeah. We now know that there's certain ingredients in tea that are very detoxifying, they help with the brain, and it's very similar, uh, similar data to what coffee can provide. In America, we don't see it that way, you know? I think a lot of physicians, most, most physicians would say, you know, you might wanna get off coffee, it's causing high blood pressure, it's causing your heart rate to go high and stuff like that. So we know based on clinical data that, co that coffee itself, the ingredients that are coffee, there's no component that causes chronic high blood pressure, yeah. right? And, uh, and <clears throat> there's no component in coffee that contributes to a specific chronic disease. But we do know that there's toxins within them that, that do. And so how, how do you communicate this to the general conventional medical community that, hey, I'm not just pushing coffee on you. This is actually something that has a health benefit. How do you say that to like physicians in the healthcare Practitioners. Well, you made the point earlier, there's been a lot of studies done on coffee and health. I think around 19,000 studies done on coffee and health. It's probably one of the most studied foods on the planet. Yeah. And the, the information that's come out about coffee and health is it's very good for you. And that was before purity ever came along. So right. it's fantastic for the prevention of type 2 diabetes. There's a very large study, 1,109,000 people followed over 30 years that show um, four cups of coffee, three to four cups of coffee a day has a 45% lower chance of ever you ever developing type 2 diabetes. Right. Liver disease, 20% for every cup you drink. So, so in other words, coffee in general, the first point is, regardless of all the some of the negative things that could be done in coffee where it's not perfect, generally it's very good for you. So what we believe is coffee is very good for you and it can be made better. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. So yeah, I'm really glad to have this conversation. It really cleared me up on a lot of different things. And I have my own misconceptions about coffee. And uh, I think as we're discovering more and more, um, we can also put purity to the test. And that's kind of like what I do in my practice. You know, yep. it's, uh, we, we, we see that patients do feel better on it if they do the switch. And the patients don't get any headaches on it, withdrawal, reflux, and everything that we know is doing well for them. And so and uh, we want to get as much antioxidants into our patients mm -hmm. as possible. And then now, now the, the, the main thing is to letting my colleagues know <laughs> and letting the medical community know that there is some company, Purity, who's just as passionate about the medical side uh, as, as, as we are, but in the coffee arena, which has never happened before. So no. I thank you for taking no. on that challenge. It's a big challenge. No, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's been a great ride so far. It's, uh, it's so nice to see it so well received. And, uh, and I think, you know, the time is right. Yeah. The studies have been there for a long time. People are now recognizing how good coffee is for them. And it's important that they know where to go, where they can trust that the coffee is, is every decision based on health. And it's, it's particularly good for them. Well, awesome. Thank you very much. So um, we're just going to end uh, on uh, the last note is that I'm probably going to be drinking Purity tomorrow morning as well. Okay. <laughs> and uh, one of the, the, the great things about coffee, which I know we've been talking about the health aspect of it, is that um, we are now allowing it to become our culture in my home. Great. And so um, I don't know if you've seen my daughters on Instagram. Uh -huh. uh, my five-year-old literally mm -hmm. doing a French press. I asked her what coffee it is. She's like, purity. <laughs> and so, because that's been a big deal with me growing up in the tea side with, yeah. in, in China, because making tea and brewing tea was a very cultural thing that we enjoy doing together, but I'm really glad to adopt the coffee side into it. Here. We, we do the same thing, we call it a coffee huddle. So our morning <laughs> with my wife and my daughter before yeah. she goes off to school, she has a very small cup of coffee. Uh -huh. um, and my wife and I sit and we plan the day and it's, it's very sort of, it's very ritualistic. It's uh, no, sort of that's the awesome. same thing. Yeah. That's great, that's great. Well, thanks a lot for talking. Thanks. I thanks appreciate a lot. it, appreciate it. Thank, thanks a lot.